right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to another ABC Thursday Thunder Talk Show. My name is Coach Jeff Luzbo. And this is Coach Ronzi. And guys, it's Professor Sai. How are you doing, guys? And of course, this show is powered by the suited advisor, Coach Brian Ordialis, in collaboration with Cloud Studio. Kung gusto niyo mga live streaming events, hosting, YouTube, podcasting, lahat yan, whether live or streaming, Cloud Studio is the place to be. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Kamusta na kayo mga coaches? How are you guys doing tonight? Fantastic, mga... fantastic. As Ito always, mga... yeah. Thursday na naman. Yeah, excited to do this uh, talk show. With you guys. That's right. Oh, at saka maraming nagme-message sa atin na wow, iba na yung mga damit niyo ah. Oh, Ayan, diba? no? Ano and, ba tong bago nating ano, pakana costume? Meron tayong ano, meron tayong oh, costume. Meron tayong <laughs> parang nasa cosplay. <laughs> cosplay lang, no? Maganda sa theme natin for tonight and, and moving forward yeah. is different brandings na pwede mong gawin. For example, in my case, mm-hmm. uh, you can call me an expert coach. Kaya naka, expert para akong coach. nakaganito. Si yeah, oh, Prof. Sai expert, naman, expert. Is a professor, diba? So, ang itsura niya is like a professor. That's why we call him Professor Sai. And then, Coach Ron Aman is a racer coach. That's why he's wearing his favorite F1 team. McLaren, fantastic. Yan. So, that's going to be something uh, very fun to do para kami magko-cosplay <laughs> for the next uh, few episodes. And maybe tuloy-tuloy na until we can come up with another gimmick. But we're very excited kasi syempre, it's going to be an exciting night full of learning. At syempre, dapat lang sabayan nyo kaming uminom ng official yogurt drink ng ABC Academy. Walang iba kundi si Kumi. Kumi. The, yeah. yeah, the number one yogurt drink in the world. <laughs> At ang maganda dito, grabe ang dami na niyang branches dito sa grabe. Philippines. Nationwide, oh, oh, no? nag-open tayo sa mga... Mall, sa mga strategic Left locations. Left and right, no? Coach Ron, Coach Chef, di ba? Mm-hmm. Oh, Left and right, up and down. Up Very and down. healthy. <laughs> healthy na, refreshing pa. Kasi this is only under 180 calories. So, wow. guilt-free ka. If you drink this, you can choose your favorite fruits. Ibi-blend nila for you. Right now, I'm having avocado and oats. Yon. It's a wow. yogurt drink na ito. Medyo awesome. heavy yan. That's uh, right. Avocado. It's actually my dinner for tonight. <laughs> wow, that's your di- talaga yeah, dinner mo right. brother. Oh. Yeah, this is already my dinner for tonight. Then, what about you, professor? In, 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 inulam huh? mo sa kanin, ganun. Ano naman kanin? Oh, ano naman guys? Of course, uh, all-time favorite po yung uh, ube. Yan. Classic. Ube. Yan, ube pa rin, ube pa rin. Yan. Ako nilaligyan ko yan, coach na ano, coach ng nata. Yeah, oh, ano, nice. para tama, siyang, tama. Ano, Oh, Extraordinary yung halo. nata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaya guys, uh, for those who are listening and watching right now, ano ba yung favorite kumi flavor nyo? Pakilagay nyo naman sa comment section. And of course, remember to visit our uh, kumi branch. Coach Ron, saan nga ba yung branch natin ulit? Yes, we have a branch in Esimbacoor. Uh, and uh, you can visit yung second level, no upper level, I think, no upper ground. So, it's very strategic. Makikita nyo ka agad yun, malapit sa escalator. And uh, yun, yun, yun. Daging madaming ano doon. Um, uh, what do you call this? Meron tayong mga discounts. Uh, I think meron also pinamimigay. Can avail of a coach yung parang kumi card. Kumi card, parang, parang rewards. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's right. That's right. Kumi card. I have one. So yun, please visit us. Or you can just check your Grab app. Tingnan nyo kung aabot yung any of the branches ng, ng kumi. Yeah, so yeah, again, shout out to our good friend BMJV. Yeah, yes, for this kumi. Masarap na, guys, BMJV. healthy pa. Yeah, and yeah. of course, since uh, it's the start of the year, guys, and for some of us here na who might have be, who might have difficulty in terms of their financials, no, so you might want to check our good friend si Louis Salapare of MCF. Yeah, guys, yeah, so if you are, want to purchase your favorite ano, no, uh, uh, gadgets for work and play, yeah, pwede, pwede. Pero coach, let's say hi muna dun sa ating mga listeners from all of, uh, ano, life insurance companies. Hello from the Yellow Company, Sun Life. Hello. Sun Life first. Yeah. Hi guys. Go ahead Ito guys kayo. at indicate nyo po dito sa chat box yung company name ninyo para at least makita namin. Mm-hmm. 
Go ahead, go yes, John. Yes, of course, nandiyan din yung mga blue companies natin. AXA yeah. and Allianz. Hello, Allianz. fantastic Hi, people. Yeah. And we also have the green company. Favorite uh, color uh, ni ano, Propsai. Si Coach uh, Ayat. Hi, Coach Ayat. I know you're listening right yeah. now. Hello, My mga Manulife first. Yung red company natin. Yung favorite red, red company natin. Red companies natin. natin. Nandiyan ang Pro Life and AIA Philippines. Yo. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. And uh, we also have our orange company. Yan, FWD. FWD, F-W-D by the way. F-W-D. Nakikinig nga pala yung idol natin. Si... Lester Angela Reyes, thank you very much, Idol right. Lester, for watching oh. the show tonight. Isa yan sa mga ano, coach, ABC graduate natin na, ano pa, na court of the table pa. Wow. C-O-T. Galing, ano? Yan. Oo. And yan. Uh, we also have, syempre, nandiyan din yung mga ano, friends natin from Insular Life. Mga in-lifers. Hi, guys. Um, in-lifers. And Coco Life. Yan. Coco Life. Yan. Oh, fantastic. Oh, meron tayong mga nakikinig na taga in life si Migi Tungia. Oh, yeah. Hello, hello um, Migi. Hi, Migi. Davao yan. Mga tiga Davao, I think. Nice. So, right, nice, right, nice. right. And uh, so, I don't know, if, you, if you're uh, watching right now, yeah, please, no, like and share uh, dun, ano, dun sa time, time, uh, dun sa, ano nyo, dun sa timeline ninyo para, or even tag your friends Coach, That's no? right. Para they can they can watch together with their I know with their colleagues. Oh, oh by the way, Coach Ron, yeah. Professor Sai, uh, nanonood din ang ating uh, 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 ang ating fitness coach and boxing oh. coach si Sir Raymond Rick Masangkay oh, yeah. Ilagan. Yon. Hi oh, Sir Raymond. Uh, oh, thank you Sir boxing. Raymond for watching. Uh, uh, so hopefully pag wala ng pandemic, we can continue. Yep. Balik na ulit. Uh, dun sa boxing, dun sa ano sa Home gym mo. Pwede na ulit yan. <laughs> Pampapawish to guys to keep you fit and healthy. Yan. Right, right, right. So please help us spread the word na nandito na, on, uh, ano na we are now live. Go ahead and tag your friends dito sa chat box. All you need to do is just put sa comment section hashtag Thursday Thunder and tag five of your friends para natutulungan nyo rin kami na makatulong hmm. din sa mga friends mo at maka-add din kami ng values sa kanila. Go ahead, guys. Uh, support us by tagging your friends dito sa, sa comment section para alam nila the show has started. And of course, Ayon. as always, every week ginagawa natin to, we are giving uh, a free masterclass of your choice for tonight. Okay, very, very important po yan. Kung gusto nyo po makasali sa raffle, one winner for tonight, all you need to do is send stars. How do you send stars? Dito sa comment section, meron kang makikitang icon na star. Click the icon. Send us some stars. Doesn't matter how many you send. Send us as many as possible. Walang problema yan. And if you send us stars, makakasama ka sa raffle for tonight for a masterclass of your choice worth up to 6,500 yung masterclass na yan na pwede mong gamitin sa sarili mo or pwede mong irigalo sa ka-teammate mo. Oh, yes, oh, yes, perfect, oh, yeah. perfect. And s- perfect. speaking of value-adding uh, session, guys, uh, I'd like to no, ko lang, review lang po nung last week natin. Ha, for those who missed our oh. session last uh, Thursday, maganda po yung naging topic natin. No? It's five habits that you can start for 2022. We had a fantastic session. At hanggang ngayon, naalala ko pa rin, coaches, yung five habits na yun kasi talagang sinusunod ko na siya. Number one, yung ano, uh, less is more. Yan. Number less two, is more. I love read that. more. Yan. Yan. Read more. Sec- uh, third would be yung ano, be disciplined. Number four, be inspired. And number five, be generous. Mga simple lang to guys, but if you apply this to your work, to your family, and definitely it's going to make a significant change po. Kaya kung sa tingin nyo, you are having difficulty on being kailangan mong gawin, especially mga resolutions natin. Guys, just go to our YouTube po. Always be closing show o sa Spotify, yung Thursday Thunder Show para you can watch or you can even um, share to your friends. Yeah, yun po yung topic natin last Thursday. But now, for tonight, ano ba yung topic natin for tonight, Coach Jeff? For tonight, we have a very interesting topic. At ang topic natin for tonight, is how to overcome the four dream killers. Oh, yes. Grabe na. This is a very interesting topic. Dream Kasi killers. Kasi marami mga dreams na gusto natin ma-achieve, mga goals Yan. na gusto Oo. natin ma-hit. Pero every time na nangyayari, year after year, merong ibang mga 
at ang mga Filipinos na nai-hit nila yung mga dreams and goals nila, pero meron ding ibang hindi nila ma-hit. Even if they keep trying every year, bakit kaya? At yan ang i-discuss natin for tonight. The four dream killers and how to overcome these dream killers. Fantastic, 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 fantastic. fantastic. What can you say about that, Coach Ron yep. and Professor Sai? Yep. To get, before we, we go ahead and discuss those, oh, Coach, no, one thing is, ano, I just want to make it make sure that we, we are clear about this. No? Ano ba nga, di ba, bakit ba talaga kailangan natin mangarap? Diba? Is that really important diba? for for an in- individual who wants to be successful, diba? who wants to uh, you know be wealthy? Diba? It all starts with a dream, sabi nga nila. Diba? It all starts with a dream. It all starts with a burning desire. Diba? Pero, you know, those are all, madali kasing sabihin yun, coach. Eh. Madali kasing sabihin. Pero, minsan, pag nandyan na yung... Yung, ano, yung, yung mga adverti- adversities na, you know, that can stop us from diba, living our dream. Diba? Minsan doon tayo, yun yung, ano, yun, yung that we, yun yung kailangan nating i-overcome. Tama? So it's really, really important. Wala, wala pa akong kilala coach na naging successful na tao na hindi sila nag-overcome ng adversity. Tama? Lahat na makita mo na successful, ano, successful people, when you talk up when they talk about their successful life they would actually talk about the series of failures that they had to go through tama ba correct okay. and very very important yun. so yan coach naka right, ano naka right. yan kasi yan, most yan. of the time ang nakikita lang natin yung end result na yung successful yeah, yun, na sila tip of the they, iceberg oh, yeah the tip of the iceberg lahat ng mga na achieve nila mga awards mga milestones mga accomplishments na nagawa nila and that's just tama si Coach Ron, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Hindi natin nakikita kung ano ang pinagdaanan niya, yung mga heartaches na pinagdaanan niya, yung frustrations, failures, yung mga, disappointments. mga failures na yan, disappointments, tama Professor Sai. Hindi natin nakita. Behind the scenes kasi yun eh. It's just like creating a movie. Di ba? Dun sa Avengers movie na napanood natin, we are so blown away. Grabe, sobrang ganda. Pero... Para gawin yung movie na yun, oh my gosh, just imagine lahat ng mga heartaches, frustrations, and disappointments na nangyari yun para lang ma-accomplish yung uh, film na yan. Ganon din sa buhay ng mga tao. Tama ba, Professor Sain, Coach Ron? Yes, Coach. Right, right. And, and speaking of dream, kasi dyan naman talaga lahat nagsisimula. Eh. Kahit nga ang maliliit na bata, pag ganun mo, oh, anak, ano bang gusto mo paglaki mo, di ba? Kumbaga, our dream sets the tone or Tama. sets the direction, di ba? So, kaya minsan, pag nakakarinig ako ng mga kaibigan na, ay, di naman mangyayari yan eh. Nadi-disappoint ako sa ganun thinking kasi, guys, libre naman mga harap eh. Di ba? Mm, wala, wala pang naman. tax, coach. Tama, wala pang tax. I like that, di ba? Guys, wala, wala pang tax. Imagine kung pati ang pangarap may tax, no? wala nang mga ngarap siguro. No? Or sabi nila, pang mayaman lang yan. But oh, sometimes man. you would hear people like that. Yan. But of yeah. course, realities of life, sabi ko nga po, Mga ngarap ka na rin lang naman, di eh, itaas mo na kasi libre naman siya eh, di ba? Right, right. So sige, umpisa na natin yan. Pero ano, which reminds me, coach, no? Si Ron J, si Ron J one time, so he came up to me, you know, my son. So sabi niya, gusto niya, paglaki niya, magkaroon siya ng, gusto niya maging YouTuber. Wow! Di ba? Gusto Ay. niya magkaroon ng, ano, ng YouTube channel. Gusto niya okay. maging influencer. At first, siya matatawa ka, di ba? No? Matatawa uh-huh. ka. Hindi mo... And you don't want to kill that pangarap eh. You don't want to ba, burst that bubble eh. Di ba? Correct, you correct. Know, you don't want to be the a-hole <laughs> of correct. their dreams. <laughs> di ba? And you know, it's just the way it is. Sabi ko sa kanya, you know, um, ang kailangan doon, maganda yung content mo, ganyan-ganyan. So it's just listening. Di ba? Pero it all, it all, it, again, it all um, start with the dream. Pero sige, umpisahan natin. Ano nga ba yung mga apat na dream killers na pag ito ang hindi na kailangan nating i-overcome no coach every single day okay let's first start with the first one no yung tinatawag nating fear ano nga ba yung fear ang fears so ang you know for me no coach no when you say about you know fears ito ito madalas this is something that is ito yung mga demons natin sa inside eh these That's are right. just, ano eh, uh, this is something na hindi natin nakikita. 
Tama. At lahat yan, may experience ng mga Filipino, uh, ng mga tao. Everybody tama, will experience tama. that. Diba? Yeah. Kasi katulad na tinuturo natin, di ba, Coach? Fear is an acronym. Fear is actually, it, it's, it, ano, it, uh, it means, di ba, false emotion, emotion. Af- appearing, appearing real. real. Yeah, diba? I like that. False, false emotion appearing real. Appearing real. So yeah. these are your small, you know, these are your small voices inside of you. That is telling you na what if you fail? What if you, di ba? Paano kung mapahiya ka? What if hindi mo ma-achieve to? Nakakahiya? What if, alam mo yun, all those negative, tama ba? Negative outcome, di ba? Outcome na pwede mangyari sa isang situation. Correct. Na entertain natin, di ba? And, uh, you know, and one of the things na we have to realize na pag itong in-entertain natin, coach, umpisa pa lang, hindi na tayo makakapag, hindi na natin magagawa. Correct. Parang ano, ano, Coach Ron, yung parang uh, frozen, frozen ka na, no? Yung yeah. hindi, ka na, hindi ka na makagalaw, di ba? Parang inactivity na kagad, no? Kasi natatakot ka na. Yun nga, mm. it's very valid yung mapahiya ka, yeah. um, na ma, yun nga, mapahiya ka sa ibang tao, yeah. especially kung hindi yeah. maging successful yung ginagawa mo. Yeah. So it's very important, no? Yan, yan yung ano, yan yung una natin intindihan about what? fears. Yeah. Na it's actually something na hindi siya totoo, wala siyang it's just something, it's just an idea. It's it's you know, it's not it's not a something. It's just uh it's an idea, it's a concept of something na nililikha ng ano sub- subconscious natin, no, coach, tama ba? Kasi hindi pa nangyayari. Takot na tama. tayo. Eh. Oh, oh. Hindi pa natin. Na tayo. Oh, pinapangunahan na hindi na lang natin gagawin. And ito yung tinuturo natin sa ABC about bending reality pero negative sa iyo. Kasi what if Tama. is a very powerful word. Ginagamit natin 'yan sa ABC when we negotiate with clients to open up their minds. Yung possibilities na uh, to get protected, ma-realize nila na it's important to save for the future. But subconsciously ginagamit rin ng mga minds natin yan to to ano uh, to to, uh, to to just stay comfortable to just yeah. stay within as the comfort are. zone yan as is That's right yeah. na you don't need to exert effort diba kasi yeah. what if you fail you because the mind will that. always tell you you have to survive <laughs> always right. on the safe side guys always don't, on the safe don't side don't take diba? the risk <laughs> nga diba that's right that's right The mind will always tell you to stay comfortable. It does not want discomfort. Tama. Tama. That's right. That's right. Anong opinion mo dyan, Professor Sai, about discomfort na ayaw ng mind natin? Ano yan eh? Um, may, may, may psychological at biological reason yan eh. Especially diba, during the time ng mga dinosaurs na ayaw lalabas ng mga cavemen kasi baka kainin sila ng dinosaurs. Eh, no? Kung pupunta mo siya, no? historically speaking, na parang we are trained to be always on the safe side. Kaya yes. pagka may, meron tayong nakitang something na bago, like for instance, mami, lumabas na bagong cellphone, di ba? Others would say, oh, mas gusto ko tong dati kong cellphone kasi ano, may keypad, di ba? may keyboard, yeah. yan, gano'n. Yeah. So, natatakot tayo sa lahat. If there's something new, nandun yan, natatakot tayo. And like, for financial advisors and even for other professions, ito napansin ko, uh, laging, tama yung sinasabi na, ni Coach Ron kanina, eh, na since it's something new, Parang sasabihin na natin, balik na lang ako sa employment kasi at least may sweldo ako. Naku, dito wala eh. ba diba? Parang right. yun kagad eh. Yung, yung takot ka agad na mm-hmm. mawala sa yung mga comforts mo eh. Yung meron kang regular na sweldo, meron kang regular na benefits. ba diba? Pero pag nag-full-time ka, parang, naku, anong right. gagawin right. ko? ba diba? yeah. Yan. Yeah. So, And, yan. Kung nakaka-relate kayo dyan, you know, please type yeah. in relate. Ko ikaw And, yung tipong, ano ba, nasa transition ka ba? Ako, kasi coach, alam mo ba, pag December, marami nagre-resign. Alam mo ba yun? Ayun! <laughs> nagre-resign oh, yung trabaho, hinihintay lang yung 13th month, oh, tapos nagre-resign na. Oh. Diba? Pero one, isa pa, no, coach, no, gusto ko lang ding idagdag, especially for financial advisors, ano ba yung mga fears na nataranasan everyday ng isang financial advisor? Diba? Yan yung fear of, fear of calling people. Tama ba? Eh, yung tipong, meron akong kilala, you know, he's, she's a bit introvert, sabi niya sa akin. Coach, pag tumatawag nga ako, iniisip ko, sana wag nasagutin eh. <laughs> 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 was so, she was so fearful na gano'n. Um, 
And that's kind of, no, you know, that's that's really um, a, uh, that's something that we have to overcome if you're a financial advisor. Kasi, diba, that's part of our job, diba? approaching people. Tama? Right, that's right. Um, and there are times, Coach Ron and Professor Sai, that you don't know na fear mo pala yun. Nagiging default lang na ayaw mo kagad gawin. Correct. Diba? Nagiging default na, na hindi para sa akin yan, ayokong gawin yan, hindi, hindi, hindi. But in reality, it's just fear that nagsisink in that prevents you from dreaming something big, that prevents you from achieving this certain goal because you believe that you won't be able to do it anyway. So why bother? Parang ganun ang sinasabi lagi ng, ano, ng mind. Kaya meron lagi tayong saying, kaya napansin nyo, laging merong saying yung mga, yung mga experts na sinasabi lagi, you gotta control your mind. But you gotta control your mind. Ah, ganun pala yun. Yeah, I have to control my mind. Because the mind will always put you in a position of safety. Kagaya ng sinasabi ni Professor Sai at ni Coach Ron. It does not want discomfort. Therefore, pag naramdaman ng mind mo that it's something uncomfortable for you, automatic, papangunahan niya talaga na wag mo nang gawin. And if you listen to that small voice, hindi mo talaga gagawin. And meron tayong tinuturo lagi sa ABC to overcome this fear is unahan mo. How do, you, how do you overtake? Parang ano, racing oh, coach yeah. ron eh, no? Oh, yun, oh. Tama, tama. <laughs> tama, tama. So, how do you Thank overtake you. this fear from sinking in at hindi mo na magagawa? We call this the five-second rule. Ano yung five-second rule? The five-second rule, every time you want to do something, may naramdaman kang discomfort. May mm-hmm. naramdaman kang parang nahihiya ka or takot. Within five seconds, gawin mo na agad. Very important yan. Within Otherwise, five pag lumampas, coach, hindi mo na magagawa. Correct. Mm-hmm. Hindi mo na magagawa siya okay. pag lumagpas yan. Marami tayong mga experience dyan within five seconds na you have to, ano, you have to over- overcome that fear. Especially if you have a fear of calling people. Now, for mm-hmm. example, meron kayong uh, telethon. Di ba? Usong-uso yan sa mga advisors. Eh. Yung telethon. They're gonna, they, they will have a list of names that they will call. Then tatawagan nila. But there are times na yun nga, tama si Coach Ron, magsasabi na, ah, ano to? Ah, sana hindi sagutin. <laughs> Pero within five seconds, you overcome that. Dial it right away and mm. yun na. Ring it. Magugulat right, right. ka na lang. Once you overcome that, you would thank yourself na, ah, grabe, buti na lang na ano, mm-hmm. na overcome ko siya. So practice the five yeah. second rule in anything that you do. What's your opinion on that, yeah. Coach Ron and Professor Sai? Coach Ron, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we have really have to face our fears. No, it's very, very important. Because, ane parang ano ko che? We have been numb. We have uh, about this. Eh. Um, overcoming fear is not really easy. Hindi siya yung pwede niya sabihin na uh, sige mawawala din yan. No, in reality, Prof. Say, Coach, para mawala yan, kailangan mo talagang gawin yun det. You know. Tama. And uh, ako experience. The fear of the fear I have whenever I race, de ba? De ba? There are a couple of times na talaga nag overshoot ako, nag, de ba? And uh, and the only way to to really make sure na ano na I do it right again, na hindi ako ma matutroma is, de ba? Is to experience it again. Um, pero ito yung kilangan natin isipin ko eh. de ba? Sabi nga eh, de ba? Fear and confidence are like two big dogs inside of us. No, para siyang dalawang aso na nasa loob na dibdib natin na nag-aaway sila, 'di ba? And the one who feeds the and the one who ano who wins, no? Prof Sai is the one we feed the most. Yon. Ibig sabihin, 'di ba lagi nag-aaway yan eh, 'di ba? Nag uh, ano ba matatakot ba ako? Ano, magiging confident ba ako? 'Di ba? Kasi sino man manalo, 'yun kasi 'yun yung ini-entertain mo. 'Yun yung lagi nating pinapakain, 'di ba? Subukan mong if if starve yung fear mo. 'Di ba? By being, 'di ba? By making sure that you you practice, 'di ba? Na um that you overcome and, and just face that fear first. Kasi remember, most of the time, the fear that we have is unknown, eh. 'di ba? And um if you don't experience that, wala, wala tayong matututunan, tama ba? Correct. And ano, tama rin coach Ron eh. Uh, sa akin kasi And one of the reasons why we fear something kasi because of inaction. 
'di ba? Parang yung bang remember when we were kids sa school natin, minsan alam mo yung sagot dun sa question ng teacher mo pero ayaw mo magtaas ng kamay. Kasi naiyakan na baka mamaya mali yung sagot mo. Pero had you raise your hands at tinawag ka, mm-hmm. nasabi mo sana yung tamang sagot, 'di ba? Minsan yung mga yun yung mga what if sayang, hindi ako hindi ko sinabi, hindi ako nagtaas ng kamay. One word guys, momentum. Once you start building momentum, yung fear, hindi uti nawawala siya. Eh. Okay, which is why if I tell people who are listening and watching right now na mahihiyain ako, malamang walang maniniwala guys eh. 'Di ba? So, takot din ako eh. I mean, I, I'm afraid to to talk before the public kasi yun nga, mm-hmm. baka mapahiya ako. But yeah. then again, sabi ko, if I'm not going to try this, I will not grow as an individual. So, momentum. Nung nabibuild up ko yung momentum little by little, mm-hmm. then I realized na right. ano pala, unfounded yung fear ko talagang yeah. hindi ko lang kasi ginagawa pero nung when I started doing it especially as financial advisors di ba natatakot tayo minsan mag-present kasi baka mapahiya tayo yeah. diba? it's okay it's mm-hmm. part of the ano, it's part of the deal eh. but right. you'd realize na tama yung binanggit culture kanina when you keep on practicing it it becomes yeah. second nature na sa'yo ako ang kinakatakot ko nga guys alam nyo kung ano it's not fear itself eh. ang kinakatakot ko nga is yung Ginawa mo siya tapos naging comfortable ka, hindi ka na nagtry uli ng iba. 'Di ba? Right. Para nag, mas nakakatakot yung ganoon eh kasi there's basically no growth on it eh. Mm-hmm. 'Di ba? Yung inovercome mo, 'di ba? Let, let us see. I'll, I'll give a good example. Financial advisors whenever there are new training, sometimes they would say na, ah, alam ko na 'yan. ABC, ang bumbago matututunan ko niyan. Nakakatakot yung ganoon. 'Di ba? Yeah. Nakakatakot siya not because hindi mo siya alam but because yung alam mo inadmit mo na sa sarili mo na yun lang yung alam mo di ba na not necessary na feel na tatakot ka feel na no na nakakatakot yung ganun kasi naaccept mo na parang alam mo na di ba when in fact alam natin na as leaders we have to keep on learning yeah right, right. i agree I agree so ito ano last tip coach no that i can i can give no so para If there's one thing na ano na tumatak sa akin na libro it's really the book teka ano nga ba yung libro yun <laughs> And then yung who moved my cheese ayan oh right. my cheese yep. uh-huh. yep. na ko coach no Mer- meron doon di ba meron meron sinulat si si Ho si ano doon si Ho sabi niya uh, what if i was not afraid what if oh ano Diba? What if I was not afraid? So I, I challenge you guys. I would encourage you to ask yourself. Diba? If you're if you're in a situation where that na ano may natatakot ka to try something new, no, you have to ask yourself. Diba? What if I'm not afraid? Diba? Would you do it? Tama. Minsan kasi ganon eh. Minsan coach iba yung iba yung thing iba yung pressure pag kausap mo ang tinatawagan mo high network client. Pero in reality eh tao lang naman din yan. Correct. Tama diba? tama. Diba? Yep. Meron ka nagbibigay ka ng an, ano ng uh, hin, uh, na pressure na hin, na you don't actually deserve. Diba? So very important 'yon. Uh, and last is para hindi mo kailangan katakutan. Wag mo don't mind whether you fail or not. Diba? Just just be it. Kasi coach, 'di ba, pag masyado kang alam mong magfi-fail ka na nawalan ka, baka hindi mo na talaga gawin eh kasi matatakot kang mawalan. Inanticipate Yeah, oo. pero if you see failure as something just like a feedback, 'di ba? Na wala, resulta lang 'yun ng trabaho mo eh. Correct. 'Di ba? So mas madaling siyang tanggapin. No? So 'yun yung mga pwedeng nating gawin no to overcome the fear that we experience every single day. Okay, oh, please type in fantastic, no? If you if that makes sense with you. Yeah, right. please type in fantastic. Fear. Yeah. And at the same time, right. you also share your thoughts dito sa comment section. What do you do? in uh, overcoming your fears every time you fear fear uh, uh you feel the fear inside ano ang ginagawa mo yan share niyo po dito sa comment section babasahin Sabi, po namin mamaya uh, ano that's magbubukas ng ilaw daw coach <laughs> pwede ito oh. i remember when we were kids no uh, talagang nag uh, ano ikaw na mag magpatay ng ilaw <laughs> ayan So, uh, another one, sabi ni Coach Brian Ordialis, the basic instinct of defense or defense mechanism of our brain is protection. It will always protect you from discomfort. It will always put, put you in a position of safety. That's dream killer number one. Let's move on to dream killer number two, which Doubt. is... Ito na. 
Yeah, yeah. doubts. Yeah. yeah. What can you say about that, yeah. Coach Ron and Professor Sai? Green pillar yeah. number two, doubts. Ako naman. In, in Tagalog, huwag daw magsisikan to. Kasi pag nagsikan to, ka, ano, mag, maiiba yung, ano, eh, ma, yung tema ng ano eh. Kaya huwag magsisikan to. Um, okay, doubts. No? Doubt. When you say da- doubts, ito yung tinatawag natin self-doubt. Ito yung nagsasabi sa'yo sa sarili mo na, hmm, baka hindi mo pa kaya yan. Diba? O kaya, ito yung nagsasabi sa'yo na, hmm, hindi ka pa naman nakakapag-close ng ganyan. O kaya, naku... Okay, Coach Ron, it oh, will oh. convince you from doing it dahil sasabihin niya sa'yo, hindi ka ready. Yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Diba? Oh, ito yung doubts, diba? Self-doubts. Na hindi pong, ito yung medyo binibilitil ka ng konti. Ito yung sinasabihan ka na you're not good enough. Yun, 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 yun ang madalas natin naririnig, coaches, eh, no? I, I am not good enough, hindi mm-hmm. uh, naman ako graduate ng ganitong course, or hindi naman ako nakapag-train ng ganito, yan, mga ganong oh. doubts, eh, no? Oh, 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 oh. Just... Right, right, right. So, yan yung mga pag financial advisor ka, ay eh, yung nagsasabi sa'yo, magiging successful ba talaga ako dito? Yun, oo. Di ba? Or mag mdrt ba talaga ako? Or di ba, can I achieve what he has achieved? Diba? So, ang daming doubts eh, diba? And most of the time, this is ano, self-inflicted. Ibig sabihin, masyado natin, uh, tinitingnan natin yung sarili that, uh, natin na, uh, okay, hindi natin kaya. May konting kulang sa ano, self-belief, no, coach? Yan. How about you, coach? Uh, Prof. Sai? Okay, in terms of doubts kasi, ano yan eh, um, it's also a big factor yung yung circle of friends mo and even your family mm-hmm. and di ba pagka nalaman ng tatay mo ng nanay mo na umalis ka na sa trabaho mo sasabihin ka agad ha bakit umalis ka sa trabaho mo eh di wala ka ng sweldo sa mm-hmm. kapwa na so parang sila mismo o yung family mm-hmm. natin mismo ang nagke-create din eh it's it malaking factor coach Ron, yung environment eh Diba? When you are with people na hindi sila sanay sa ganong klaseng setup na, try nyo. If you are with people who are 100% employed, tapos try nyo pag-usapan na, oy nag-resign ako sa work ko kasi gusto ko maging financial advisor. So, sabi mm-hmm. nyo, naku, you successful ka ba dyan? So, mm-hmm. kaya-create na kagad ng doubts. And, we, and, and, and tayo kasi, parang in correlation with uh, number one, mahilig tayo mag-entertain ng something negative eh. Try nyo. Yeah. Mag-post kayo sa social media na something positive. Walang magbabasa. Pero mag-post ka ng something negative sa social media. Ang dami bigla nagta-trending ka agad, di ba? Uh, 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 Kasi nag, nag, na, na-entertain natin yung ganung ano eh, yung ganung, ganung thoughts eh. Di ba? nag enjoy ta- Sorry for the word guys ha, pero nag enjoy kasi tayo sa mga ganung klaseng thoughts. And one, one of the ways para matanggal yung doubts is you also have to, uh, if possible, choose yung environment o yung the people you are being associated with. Kasi, one of the ways to uh, kill doubts is motivation. Diba? You can you can read a good book about motivation. You can yeah. listen to podcasts. Diba? Or, the better way of doing it, guys, go and take trainings in ABC. Diba? Kuha kayo ng mga trainings. Yung, if you think na, hindi naman ako makakapag-close yan kasi uh, mahina ako sa English. Eh. Or, no, but once you get skills, y- y- yan ang ano, y- yan ang papatay sa doubts, yung skills. Kasi pag meron kang skill, it creates confidence eh. Totoo yeah. naman. Diba? Pag, okay. pag, pag kulang ka sa skills, talagang lalo, lalo ang pagdududahan yung sarili mo. Parang ganito yun eh. Uh, paano maluluto ang putsero kung hindi ka naman talaga na marunong magluto? Diba? Maluluto ko kaya ito. So, ano sagot doon? You don't stop. O di, punta ka sa YouTube, tingnan mo, paano ba niluluto ang putsero? Diba? Nawawala ngayon yung doubts. Mm-hmm. Kasi nagkakaroon ka ng learning. Yan. Right. Pero mas gusto ko yung pochera. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede rin. Right, that's right. It, it also increases your confidence level para hindi mo na pagdudahan yung sarili mo. Kasi nag-practice mm-hmm. ka, you equip yourself, nag-train ka. Because you believe yeah. na with enough training, if I hone mm-hmm. my skills, if I sharpen my saw, my blade, mm-hmm. yeah. I would be able to do it natatanggal yung mga pagdududa sa sarili mo. Tama ba, correct. Coach Ron? Mm, correct, correct, right? correct, correct. Yeah, I agree. You know what? Uh, one of the more uh, 
a co- a coach that I really you know that helped me you know realize that I have to believe in myself is when you know, when but si, uh, Henry Ford he would always tell us no coach Jeff na if you think you're right uh, you're right diba? if you think you if you think you're wrong you're you're always right diba? so it's you know, we we have con- total control of what we what we believe in diba? and um sabi nga nila eh, diba? if uh, if you start believing in yourself nandiyan na mag mag na yan mag mag uh, the manifest. only way to erase to erase doubts is to really build something na alam mong alam mo yung resulta diba merong diba coach remember diba yung ano art of war diba sabi doon diba if you if you know if you know thyself and uh, your opponent you know the result of a thousand wars. Diba? Ang kabalik tara ng doubt is certainty. Tama ba? So, para, you're very certain. You really have to know, diba, yung capability mo. Kasi pag alam mo na kaya mo, eh, nagawa ko na to eh. Diba? Yun yung papatay sa doubt. Diba? Yung certainty na kilala ko yung sarili ko, kilala ko yung kakayanan ko, and kilala ko din siya. Diba? I already prepared for this client. Diba? So, dapat mawala yung doubt na yun. So, preparation is key. Coaches, Pre- tama? Preparation. Yan, I like that, Coach Ron. Preparation Preparation. Is yan. Ang tanong, pwede natin tanong sa mga listeners natin, guys. Could you please put in the comment section, ano bang klaseng preparation po ang ginagawa nyo para ma-erase yung doubts na yan? Are we taking additional mm-hmm. courses, trainings, or meron ka bang coach, meron ka bang mentor? Pakilagay oh, naman po sa comment section. Yan. Gusto po namin marinig yung mga comment or opinion nyo about it. Yan. So let's read uh, a few comments nila dun sa mga ginagawa nila about fear and doubts. Sabi ni Maria Cristina Caleb Legaspi, do it anyway. O, di ba? So Bantalo, na? don't Just think. Do it. Just parang sabi ni Bruce Lee, don't think, feel. <laughs> Do it anyway, right? Do it anyway. Uh, sabi naman ni... Sige nga, ulit nga, ulit nga, coach. Oh, sige, sige, sige. Don't, niya, don't, don't think. think. Feel. <laughs> it's it's like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't <laughs> memorize namin ni coach. <laughs> don't put... Ano ba yan? Don't concentrate on the finger, on the finger or you will miss you'll all, lose all that heavenly, that heavenly glory. glory. <laughs> Nice. I love it. That's right. That's right. Oh Sabi naman ni Devira Barantes Garzon, pinagpipray muna po na sana mabait ang client. Oh, prayer. Yes, Very yeah. nice, no? Tama po yan. Very nice. Oh, Si Rams, meron talaga siyang fear of rejection. Si Rams Madrid, something that he needs to overcome. Sabi ni Lester Angelo Reyes, if I feel fear, horny man, but I take time to say a little prayer. That's you super amazing. Mm-hmm. No? That's right. That's right. That's yeah. something that's love very it. powerful. Oh, kasi pag prayer, coach, ano eh, parang bigla ka nagkaka-superpowers. Yes. So, that, oh. parang, parang, alam mo, feeling right. mo meron kang kakampi. Yep. Meron kang There's kakampi. something like bigger an, out there na, like na, na binabantayan ka. Uh, sabi naman ni Raymond Dilagan, face your fears. No fear, more fear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Love it. Yan, no, no, yan. Yan. More fear. No. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. Sabi naman ni Devira Garzon, added knowledge ang... Uh, mga trainings and watching videos. Mary Ann Heredia sabi naman niya, I need to sharpen myself. And uh, sinabi rin niya na attend meetings and apply uh, the learnings as much as possible. Wow, super. Yun, amazing. and speaking of trainings pala, mga coaches, no? do we have an upcoming trainings pa kay uh, ABC to help our advisors to improve their uh, closing skills? Meron ba tayong ganun right. for January? That's right. Meron tayong upcoming Master Closer Blueprint Workshop this coming January 22 and 23. If you are not yet an ABC graduate and you would like to become a master closer, you want to close and help more uh, families, then you attend that so that you can help more. It's a two-day Master Closer Blueprint Workshop na ituturo namin sa inyo how you can close deals in one sitting, increase your closing ratio to 80%, and become an uh, an awardee or even MDRT in your company. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. All right, thank you for that plugging, uh, Professor Sai. Ang ganda ng mga inserts ni Professor Sai sa mga plugging natin. <laughs> ang galing, galing, galing. But before we continue, nandito na po ang ating resident tactical investor coach na magbibigay sa atin ng 
financial market updates of the week. Ano na ba nangyayari sa economy natin, sa market natin, kamusta na ang virus dito, what's going, what's happening. Walang iba kundi ang ating lifetime MDRT and triple A awardee. Walang iba kundi si Coach Mike Makaina. Take it away, Coach Mike. Good evening, Coach Mike. Na, Coach Mike. Hi, Coach Mike. Oh, ito, good ito. evening. <laughs> Sorry na pakalimutan ko i-on yung microphone ko. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good evening, Coach Mike. Good evening, Coach Mike. How, how are you and your family? Kamusta na kayo? Uh, we're doing better now. You know, we just uh, recovered from the virus after traveling. Good news. Wow. That's good news. <laughs> Thanks. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Makukulit na yung mga bata. Oh, nag-aaway oh, na sila. Na. Oh, makukulit na nag-aaway na. So, it means na ay, siguro talaga clear na sila. Oh, oh, that's, good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's right. good. So, so now, what, what's our... in store for us uh, this week, Coach Mike? So, good evening, ABC. Coach Mike here once again reporting on what's going on with the markets today. The PSEI rallied today by 1.28% close to close at 7,307.75. It rallied 92.62 points. It opened at 7,217.38 and it never went below it. Tuloy-tuloy lang ang strength ng market kanina. This week, the index is now up 4.23%. And for the year, although we are already, we only had two weeks of trading, we're already up by 2.6%. The good news is that The U.S. Central Bank's chief, Jerome Powell, announced last Tuesday that they are not going to be as aggressive in raising interest rates this quarter. Instead, they are eyeing a rate hike in the third or fourth quarter of the year. They still see that the global economy is still in a fragile state that if they start normalizing their monetary policy, they might do more damage. Instead, They are eyeing an end to the bond buying program or printing of the new money by the end of February, but continue with the low interest rates regime. Last night also, the U.S. reported reported a 40-year high inflation rate at 7% last December. So, sobrang laki nito na ito, itong, itong, uh, itong uh, inflation rate ng U.S., ito yung nangyari noong 40 years ago nung nagkaroon ng um, oil embargo ang mga taga OPEC right so that's when a dollar per barrel oil tumaas ng 2 dollars per barrel noong 1980s now bakit nagkakaroon ng uh, tumataas ang inflation it's because of the shipping bottlenecks because of the virus a lot of people in the peers around the world are Uh, nagkakaroon ng bottleneck, bumabagal yung pag-process ng mga shipments. Right? So, yung mga uh, nagtatighten yung supply chains and with the Omicron virus ravaging the world, especially in China, economists are worried that inflation might go higher. So, kasi alam natin sa China, kapag nagkaroon ng slowdown ng economy nila, dahil diba na doon lahat ng gagaling ang mga ating mga gamit doon ginagawa sa China. So we are very much worried that if the Omicron virus is already, uh, the infection cases in China is already going higher again. So babagal na naman ang mga shipments sa mga iPhone natin, ng mga gadgets natin, mga damit natin at mga kung ano-ano pa. Right? The Philippines, on the other hand, once again recorded a new high in infections at 34,021. Kanina, the DOH reported. But the U.S. recorded 1.4 million new infections last Monday. And the globe recorded 3.7 million new cases, also a new high. You know, but the good news is that the death by this variant remains flat. So, mababa lang naman ang death rate. So, we have all these mild symptoms lang. So, there's nothing to worry about. So, baka tama na yung sinasabi nila that this is the beginning of the end already. No, next week, since the surge in infection, the PSC announced that it will revert back to half-day trading. Tomorrow will be the last day that the market will open up to 3 p.m. And on Monday, trading hours will now start from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is until January 31 or until the cases go down. So this is Coach Mike Makainag once again giving you uh, reporting to you. See you next week and let's see where the smart money is going.
Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much for that, Coach uh, Coach Mike. And ito, guys, without fear and doubt, ba? 10-time MDRT already, no? <laughs> Talagang galing. Salamat. Yo, thank no, you very okay, much, you. Coach Mike, for being you, here Coach tonight. Mike. As always, we are always adding value to you. If you guys would like to be mentored by Coach Mike, subscribe to sa kanya sa Tactical Investing Group ni Coach Mike where you will receive uh, market updates for the next 365 days. Kung, uh, send mo lang na message dito sa ABC page and we can connect you to Coach Mike. Thank you, Coach Mike. Makainag. Fantastic. Okay, okay. Thank you all for right, that. Right. And guys, for those who are listening and watching right now, if you're enjoying the session, please send us some stars. Yeah. So as That's right. a way to, to, to show your appreciation. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. You Thank you very have, much. Uh, if you guys have just tuned in, tama si Professor Sai, send us stars para makasali ka sa raffle for tonight. Mamimigay po kami ng free masterclass of your choice. One winner para makasali ka sa raffle na yan. Click mo lang yung uh, stars icon dito sa comment section and send us stars. Doesn't matter how many you send. Basta pag nag-send ka, makakasama ka na automatically sa paraffle natin for tonight for um, free training, free masterclass of your choice. Fantastic, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. okay. So, let, let's proceed doon sa dream killer number, number three. three. No. At the yan ay indecisions. What's your take on that, Coach Ron and Professor Sai? Indecision. Uh, Coach Ron, come on, please. Okay. Indecisions. You know what? When you say indecisions, diba, we this pertains to yung inability mo to make decisions. Correct. Diba? Um, and minsan makikita natin to sa mga clients natin. Eh. Tama ba? You know, your their inability to make decisions na hindi po, hindi ko, di ba, kung bakit nila kailangan kunin, tsaka na lang, hindi muna ngayon, tama ba? Hindi pa kasi ako makapag-decide, tama? Pero we have to understand, oh, Prof. Sai, coaches, financial advisors, that not making a decision is also a decision. That's tama correct. ba? Mm -hmm. Not making a conscious effort na hindi ako mag-decide ngayon is also a decision that we have to make, tama? So, very, very important. Kasi when you say decide, that is parang commitment mo yan sa sarili mo, coach, eh, na meron kang gagawin na isang bagay. Tama? So, ang indecision is something na yung tipong it lacks accountability. Diba? Wala kang accountability, but walang nagsasabi sa sa'yo, you're, you're not being held accountable dun sa ginagawa mo or hindi mo gagawin. Tama? So, Ano eh, this is something very dangerous. Kasi pag ito, ito yung sakit mo, Prof. Sai, coaches, wala ka talaga magagawa. Tama ba? Wala ka magagawa. Pwedeng ano eh, coach eh, pwedeng hindi ka natatakot. Pwedeng, pwedeng ano, may self-belief ka. Pero kung undecided ka naman, di ba? Wala eh, walang, wala. Et, eto walang kasi yung ano eh. Wala mangyayari kasi ito na yung point where you are going to take action. Tama ba? Kasi after this one, once you make a decision, commitment na yun eh. Tama ba? Yung dalawa kanina, those are all just in our heads eh. That we have to overcome. So, pero ito, assuming na na-overcome mo na yun, pag meron ka pa rin indecision, inability to make decisions, wala. Ma ano ka pa din? Nando ka pa rin? Ma-stuck pa din into not doing anything. And a good and sign I, for that, Professor Sai and Coach Ron, is procrastination. Tama ba? Yun. Yapa, What's tama. your opinion on that, Professor Sai? Parang yung, yung narinig natin we were in, in elementary, yung tatang na one tamad, di ba? Not naman necessary na, na si one tamad, eh, hindi siya marunong. Not naman necessary na si one tamad, eh, hindi siya na, 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 natatakot siya. Talagang ayaw niya lang gawin, di ba? Ayaw niya lang, yung bang, parang nag, naghahanap pa tayo ng one word, motivation. Yeah. Diba? And as financial advisors, we should always be good motivators ng kliyente yeah. natin, di ba? So, maraming, ano eh, maraming, maraming way to actually motivate our clients to be able to make a decision. Yeah. Diba? Ang tanong yeah. lang doon is, paano nga natin imomotivate yung mga client natin? Kasi tama naman si Coach Sean, guys. Eh. Not necessary na tatakot. Not necessary na hindi nila, hindi nila nagdada, nagdadalawang isip sila or nag, nagsa-second thought. Yan. Tama ba? Uh, Yun. Talagang ayaw mo lang kumilos, di ba? It's more, uh, pwede, pwede kasi ano siya, yung out of what, pride ba, Coach Ron? 
Pwede ba natin sabihin ng gano'n, di ba? No. So, yeah. ang tanong Kasi doon is... We have to remember, Coach yeah. Dagdag ko lang, na most of the time, there's only one reason for na kailangan mo para gawin mo ang isang bagay. Minsan isang bagay lang, di ba? For example, it's very... For example, sa, isa, sa pagbili ng cellphone, Prof, sa hindi naman... Sa lahat ng features na yan, hindi naman lahat yan talaga. Yan ang dahilan pa, para kunin mo eh. Correct. Diba? Minsan, eh, yan ang latest na iPhone eh. So, I want it. Diba? So, minsan, yan na yung enough reason for us to, to get it because it's the latest. Diba? So, minsan ganon. We have to make sure that uh, this applies to our clients. no We have to make sure that we empower them to make decisions. Diba? That's right. That's right. Pero, pag hindi natin kaya to empower ourselves to make decisions, paano pa natin i-empower yung kliyente natin? Tama ba, coaches? Correct. I like that, Coach Ron. A very good example is yung ano lang eh, di ba? Yung indecision mo na hindi ka attend ng mga meetings, yung indecision mo na hindi ka makikinig ng mga trading, yung indecision mo na na hindi ka pupunta sa mga talks kahit sabihin mong libre. That in itself yeah. is already a good indication of indecision. Eh. ba? Diba? Yeah. Not naman necessary kasi natatakot ka o hindi, hindi mo siya alam no eh. Basta sinabi mo lang, I think it's out of right eh. ba? Diba? Yeah, I agree. That's right. So all you need to do guys is just, you know, just act on it. Practice yeah. you decide. deciding. Whether it's a yes or a no, whether you're in or, you're in or out, nothing in between. Kasi if Tama. there's something in between, you're stuck in something na parang nasa limbo ka eh. Na you hindi mo yeah. alam, will you say yes? Will you say no? Will you act? Will you not? So you'd rather not make a decision at all. You'd rather not act kasi natatakot kang mag... Yun, it will all boil down again to the first two that will make you uh, indecisive. At mm. ito pa, sometimes you know what to do, you know how to do it, but because of that indecision, it prevents you from taking action. Yeah. Diba? Right, so, right. Indicate nyo po dito sa uh, chat box yung mga uh, comments nyo about this. What do you do? Yeah. Ano isang bagay, coach, na gusto nilang gawin hanggang ngayon hindi pa nila nagagawa? Oh, Ayun, ma. tama. I like tama. that. Oo, oh, ganda yan. Hindi, 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 di ba? Tama, good example of indecision. Yeah. Oh, so, yung ano ba, mag-workout ka na ba talaga? Ayan. <laughs> Mag-iipon ka na ba talaga? Ayan, oo. Oh. Tama, oh. tama, tama. And tama. that makes a lot of sense kasi uh, lahat ng mga tao, meron talaga mga mga ganyang cases sa different hats, sa different situations that we have in our lives. Correct, correct. And it's the best way to to recognize that so that you can act. Yeah, Super amazing, super amazing. So far, Professor Sai, before we move to dream killer number four, ilan na ba ang mga nagpapadala ng stars? Ano bang nakikita mo dyan? Uh, yeah. Tingnan nga natin kung nakapag-decide na. na sila na mag-send ng yeah, stars. Yeah, no. oo. Have you decided to send stars? <laughs> or hanggang ngayon, eh, nag-iisip ka pa kung magpapadala ka. Sige nga po, tingnan natin. Uh, ito yung latest na nagpadala si Devira Variantes Garzon. Thank you so much for sending 100 stars. Wow, ito, thank you. Yan, no? Ito, idol natin Classic. ito, si Krisha Angelica Malak, Malik Dem. Ayan, yan, wow. hi Krisha. Yan, Hello, ba? number Mag- four, power. Ito yung ano, wala nang second thought, second thought. Di ba? Talagang padala ka agad. Di ba? Pag nakita nilang nandyan na si Coach Sean, si Coach Jeff, tsaka si Prop Sai, padala mm-hmm. ka agad. Ito, especially si Alan uh-huh. Pauco. Consistent to guys. Oh, yan. Hi, Sir Alan. Thank you very much. Okay, and, and of course, uh, isa. Pa, si Jojo. Yeah, si Jojo Balyon. Okay, another on top. Avid listener and laging nanonood ng Thursday Thunder talk show. Yeah. We also have Alisa May Santos. Yeah, si Miss Alisa. Yan. Patrick Ponce. Oh, yan, mga ABC graduates natin yan. And Devira Garzon. Yeah, Mr. Vera, thank you very much. Yeah, dami na, dami na. So I hope you still send your stars, you know, uh, if you feel that we're adding value to you. Yep. Yeah, okay, game na tayo, coach. Just keep on sending last guy. Yeah. Right. And this is the very last dream killer, number four, excuses. Yeah. And ang, ang malupit dito sa excuses is gina justify natin. Yeah. We justify it para hindi natin gawin. We justify our reasons for for us not to do it. What's your take on that, Coach Ron and Professor Sai? 
yeah. You know what? Um, ito yung ano, coach. Ito yung... It is a dream killer in a sense na... Ano eh, hindi pong nag-decide ka na, pero you still find a way. You still find a way not to do it. And you justify it with an excuse. Diba? Kasi it's either you do it or you don't. Diba? There's no in-between eh. And most of the time, na uh, we find that alibi. Tama? And I want to, ano, no? I want to, um, ge, ano, um, at least meron kayong mabasa sa bahay. Hanapin nyo po yung Napoleon's 57 Famous Alibis. This is Coach, kasama to doon sa, ano, doon sa Think and Grow Rich. Nasa wow. last part to, eh. Mm -hmm. Dito niya na-explain yung yung bakit nag-fail lang tao. It's because of this 57 famous alibis. And I'll just quote some of it, no? And sabi dito, coach, no? Ito yung mga, ano, na, teka, hindi mabasa. Ito yung mga, uh, ano, mga alibis or excuses that you can come up with for yourself. Number one, um, if I had only good education, if I had a good job, if I had good health, if I had more time, if times were better, if people understood me, diba? if I did not fear what they would say, if I only had a chance. So these are, you know, just some, no, coach, no? Um, na, na, lagi na lang natin sinasabi sa natin sa sarili natin na, okay, kung, kung ano sana eh, kung hindi lang sana ako, marunong lang ako ng mag-ingles, kung okay. hindi lang ako tiga, tiga probinsya, Diba? So, di na downplay natin yung sarili na to justify diba? yung sitwasyon natin. Tama? So, and marami yan. Diba? We have clients who make excuses for not getting a policy. Pero, we also have financial advisors making excuses by not making a sale. No ibig sabihin doon? You know, one time, coach, no? kwento ko lang. One time, someone came, came up to me during our training. Sabi sa akin, coach, kasi alam mo, problema ko. Minsan kasi... Iniisip ko, baka sabihin nila, baka bentahan ko sila eh. So parang, ako naman, parang, di ba trabaho natin yun? Di ba trabaho natin yun? So sabi ko sa kanya, eh, kasi ano eh, baka isipin niya, di ba, nagiging pushy ako. Di ba? Kung ano sana, kung malakas lang sana yung loob ko. Di ba? If only I had courage, sabi niya. So and this, what, this what I told her. Sabi ko, you know what, do you, do you truly believe the product that you offer is something that can help your client. Sabi niya, yes. If it is, why would you delay it? Bakit ikaw pa yung magsasabi na tsaka na lang? Tama ba? Correct. So stop making excuses. Stop making excuses and, you know, just start acting on what you have decided. No? Whether you fail or not, diba? you just learn from it. Diba? And uh, basta don't let this stop that stop you. Because once you make an excuse, coach, it's gonna be a habit. Cha ano pala yan, coach Ron, coach Chef. No, ngayon ko lang na-realize. Fun it may seem, no? Ang excuses pala, meron palang sakit ito. Yeah, ano yan, coach? Had-had. Had-had. If I hold the had-had, had-had. Oo, yun pala yung sakit ng mga may hiling mag-excuse, no? So, meron ka naman palang had-had, di ba? Because... We keep on giving excuses. And speaking of excuses, guys, I remember yung one of the lines in, it's a, a Netflix movie, yung Red Notice, kaya starred by uh, Gal Gadot. Wayne The Rock Johnson. The Rock, tsaka si, ado, si Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Sabi doon sa isang line, you can have results or you can have excuses, but you cannot have both. Diba? Oh, I you love can, that. Huh? You can have excuses or you can have results, but you cannot have both. Diba? So, ako, pagka kinakausap ako ng associates, prof, sabi niya, hindi ko kasi na-close yung client. Kaya ito eh. Nag-usap kami, sabi ko. What do you think was the reason? but hindi siya na-close? Kasi, coach, prof, ganito, kulang, ganito, ganito. Ano ngayon ang gagawin natin? Mag-excuse na lang ba tayo or gagawa tayo ng paraan? Yan. Yeah. Sige, prof, mabalik ang kulay yung client para ma-close natin. So, diba? We can, we can, we can give yeah. a thousand excuses. Tama po tayo doon. At ang problema po kasi sa excuses, nagiging habit po siya. Kaya nang tawag sa sakit ng excuses, ano yung had-had, di ba? Yung bang, hanggang sa maging part na siya ng ano natin eh, ng personality natin eh. Ako, I rather fail trying than keep on giving excuses eh. And ito pa, it makes us feel good 
not to do it. Kasi genustify na natin. Uh-huh. Correct. Actually, uh-huh. you know what? You are... And, and if we do this most of the time, tayo ang unang naniniwala. <laughs> Tama ba? Right. We are right, the right. first believer of our own excuse. Correct. So, yeah. ito yung gagawin po natin, no? financial advisors. No, lahat po kayo, I want you to maglagay po kayo ng hashtag. Hashtag, F your excuses. Yan. You love it. Yan. Hashtag, F your excuses. So, kung medyo natatakot ka sa nanay mo, Alagay niyo po, hashtag no excuses. Yan. Hashtag no excuses. So, pag ito natanggal niyo po sa sistema po, no? Prof. Sai and ano, pag natanggal talaga natin to, will be more of a talagang action taker. Correct. And uh, will never fear ano yung outcome. Kasi wala tayong excuses. Kasi ako, I remember, Coach Jeff, di ba? Our managers were very tough on us before. Ako, pag failure talaga yung yung ano ko yung let's say yung ano ko yung client ko hindi ko na close minsan minsan may temptation ka talaga justify but even close eh yeah sabi mo wala ka sempera sabi mo kasi uh, eh kasi magagalit yung asawa alin yung parang ikaw pa yung nagiging spokesperson ng kliyente <laughs> diba? sabi sabi sa akin ng manager ko so talaga makabisado may excuse ng kliyente no pati ikaw naniwala Right, right. Alam mo yun, tipong I uh, stop making excuses. Stop believing in them and just do it. Just do it. Yan. Ganda na, no? Just do it. Yan lang. That's right. That's right. So we've ran out of time as usual. It's already past 8.30. But just to summarize, the four dream killers, fears, doubts, indecisions, and excuses, tinuro na namin sa inyo, recognize if, if this is you, yan ba nararamdaman mo, and find different ways on how you can overcome them. We've given you tips. Surround yourself with like-minded people. Find mentors that can help you overcome these para you can achieve your dreams this 2022. And of course, with that, paraful na po tayo. Raffle hey! time! Oh, you know. It's raffle time. One word tonight for a free masterclass of your choice yeah, na pwede mong gamitin sa sarili mo, pwede mo rin ipamigay sa mga teammates mo. At ito na po ang uh, roleta ng bayan. <laughs> oh. Spin the wheel, Coach Ayan Brian. Na. Go ahead. Alright. And Coach, you know, habang nag tayo, there will be an exciting event happening this quarter. Alam niyo po ba wow. yun? Wow! What are you doing, Coach? Exciting event na yan, Coach Ron. Exciting. Yeah. It's gonna be magnificent. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be awesome. Diba? Just imagine. Just imagine. You know, bigyan ko yan ng pahapiyaw. This is first time ever, Coach. First time ever. In first the history, time ever, Coach. Oh, so in the history wow. of life insurance industry. We'll be having uh, an event na grabe yung mga speakers, Coach. Wow. Grabe yung mga speakers. Wow! This is you know, two to days of start, massive diba? learning. What a oh, way to start 2022, massive no? Massive learning talaga. So, these are, you know, upcoming, iba big names, no? I can say iba big names na, pero iba upcoming rising stars na, ano, speakers natin. And, magano lang kayo, um, standby kayo, Kasi paunti-unti, Coach, no? i-reveal natin yung Magnificent 7 natin, Coach. Sino pa yung mga speakers na yan? That's and right, uh, right. ako, kung ako sa inyo, you know, you, you, ano, you invest in this event kasi this will probably change your life. Wow. Super wow. fantastic. Super amazing. Okay, sino game na tayo? Sino na tayo, Coach? And the winner is <laughs> Professor Sai. Sino ba na ikita Jojo Balion. Yan. Congratulations, Jojo. Right so thank you so much, Jojo. Yeah, no. You just won a free masterclass of your choice. Pwede mong gamitin sa sarili mo. Pwede mong regalo sa ka-teammate mo. Congratulations. And uh, syempre, Professor Sai, would you like to invite them for this free masterclass this coming Saturday so that we can help them get protected from the BIR? Okay, thank you so much for that, Coach Chef. So, guys, for those who are listening and watching right now, we are inviting you for a master class this coming Saturday. Actually, it's worth 2,500 pesos, but guys, to start the year right, we're giving it for free. Uh, from closing to compliance, from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., 
together with the fantastic coaches, we're going to teach you a uh, tax compliance tip. Parang ganito lang naman po yun eh. Guys, okay lang po ba na hindi tayo maging compliant or registered with the BIR? Or okay lang po ba na yung pera mo na pinaghirapan mo sa tax or sa penalties lang mapupunta? But if you'd like to learn more on how you can save legally, then see you this coming Saturday po. Please check the Facebook of Always Speak Closing and Professor Sai for the uh, registration. Mag-register lang po kayo. Then see you this coming Saturday. Yeah. All right. And with that, thank you very much for spending one hour of your time with us. We are always here every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. My name is Coach Jeff Luspo. And, and this, this is Coach Ron. <laughs> and guys, it's Professor Sai. Thank you so much for listening and watching tonight. And remember, always, always be, closing. be closing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, fantastic people. Just do it. Bye.